and uh, I've got a few instruments here. I was wondering if anybody actually knows what this is. I'm going to pass it around. You don't have to open it then. But that's a barometer, and that's part of the brewing process, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. And what that instrument does actually is measure the alcohol, the alcohol content. So let me start with uh, the different ingredients that are in the brewing process. So these are grains, which are also sugars. There's five base ingredients that go into every beer. Uh, these are hops right here. This is yeast and water. So, and then, uh, sorry. The first instrument you'll want to use if you're brewing at home is something like this, or at least a two and a half gallon quart pot, such, such as like that. But uh, at a real brewery, they would use something like that, and it's kind of hard to see from back there. But anyways, what you would do is you would fill it up with water, at least two and a half gallons, and you would take the grains, and you would boil them. And after a while, you'd put in the hops. And that creates a mash. After that, you'll cool it down, and then put your yeast, uh, you'll add the yeast and another two and a half gallons of water. Then at that point, you'll put it into a container like this, which is like this, which is similar to a five gallon container that everybody's seen that you put your water in. But this is actually, this one's manufactured a specific way so it doesn't release any like bad chemicals from plastics into the brewing. Uh, and then at the top, there is a little thing like this. And basically, the way I explain the brewing process is that once you pitch the yeast, which is a living organism, into the mash, it, excuse my French, pees and poops out uh, and, and farts. So it pees and poops alcohol and farts out carbonation. And basically what this does is you put it in the top during the actual fermentation process and it'll release, you know, the farts out of the container. And then one year, after a month or so, when it's finally ready to go, and it might look something like this picture that's falling down, or that picture up there, you'll take it and... Sorry, I don't Sorry. know, I didn't know what the numbers meant. Oh, time, it's your time uh, okay. signal. All right. <laughs> then you'll take it and, uh, and you'll take some sugar, and you'll actually bottle it. So you'll take it, you'll siphon it out, and then you'll add it, add a little bit of boiling sugar, which rewakens the yeast. And then when you add it to the bottles, that's what helps it, you know, fart the carbonation into the bottle. So lastly, I brought like, I've been brewing for a couple of years now, just for fun. I've only done like three or four, maybe five batches, but I uh, created a label here. If anybody wants to look at it, they can. And then I've also been doing a website called localbrewery.com where we taste different beers and discuss the different beers and whatnot. So if you ever want to check it out, it's localbrewery.com. And that's it. Okay. Thank you very much.